Hey guys, welcome back to another very exciting tutorial of creating browser and we will be designing this very unique looking logo. You can see you have got a text J and in the end we have given some bird feather like effect. We have made some peak effect and in the neck portion we have given some crystal effect. So to design this logo we will follow some steps in which first we will create the circle using the ellipse tool and then we will uh, do some adjustment with the shapes and with the shape builder to create the basic structure of the design and then we'll add a peak and the neck and finally the crystal effect so let's start with the tutorial and now make sure it's a solid filled color like this and now we'll use the rectangle tool and draw the rectangle like this from this point till the end of the point and then touching this third point like that all the three corners should be touched now Fill it with some different color. So let's change the color so that it'll be easier for us to identify later. Select it first and then change the color like that. Now we'll next draw a circle like this. The ellipse tool from the center of the rectangle, just draw the circle and make sure it touches like that. It, the two edges should be touching this rectangle. So and fill it with some different color. So we'll just choose the different color and just keep it there. Now the next thing is to yeah, we need to create one more rectangle here. So we'll use the rectangle and from this point just draw it. Cancel. Just draw it with a shift press. Just make sure like this. It should be aligned with the previous one. So just make sure it's like that. And this one is like that. And the lower one also. I think it's a little bit lower. So make sure like it's like that. Now change the color to different color for us. It's only for us. So now, once you have done that, we'll just scale this down circle a little bit with a shift press. Just scale it down a little bit like that, giving some space for the neck, and just push it this rectangle up. Make sure it touches the edge like that. This one. Now select everything, and with the shape builder tool, just do some adjustment here. We need to combine this, combine this, combine this, this, and this. This is one object. This is another object. With delay we don't need this so just zoom it in so like that click that click that and here we go just delete out all the pieces which we don't need here so and we are left with this piece so you can see we using the shape builder to have his like made some basic structure of that almost 50 percent of the logo look now the next thing is let twist it to an angle so we go to transform and give some angle rotation angle minus 25 i click ok so we can see we have got a tilted angle like that we need required for our logo now the next thing is to create the snack effect so to create that we'll use the rectangle the rectangle and from here just draw the rectangle like that and just till this stop and let's see how much length we need so you can see i think this much length is okay now the next thing we'll create one more here rectangles for our peak like that so like this so the basic shape we have arranged all the basic shapes like our logo now. Select everything with the shape builder to just delete this, remove this out. It should be separate. This should be one object, this should be one object. So everything else will be separate. So just select and delete these small pieces. Delete that. And on the top we'll go and just combine this. Pathfinder go and Pathfinder and just combine it. So it's one object now. Now it's our time to do some tweaking effect here. So we'll do some tweaking. So let's delete some points, extra points here. We don't need that. This, we don't need this. And we don't even need this, I think so. And that's all. And we don't even need this point. So now once you have deleted all the unnecessary points, the next thing is to use the convert anchor point tool and just smoothen this piece of corners like that, this one smoothen this and this one break this this one should be breaked and now with the direct selection tool you can do the tweaking here like that this one push it here like that and it should be about this so before that we'll just do some adjustment below so we will only make we need to make this curve so we'll just select the angle and just push it out like that this one select the angle just push it out so curve should be maintained so like this hand point and just push it in this one select the point and just make it in outside word and 
the flow should be gone me good so we need to tweak a little bit this one just make sure it's outside you can see we have got a nice curve effect like a neck here we need to do some tweaking effects so we'll just do that so select this this one push it out like that this one just make it a little bit downward and just push it up this one a little bit like that and overall you can see we got this effect here if you want to tweak you can just look and then make sure it's look exactly the same that's only here so like that this one curve this one curve this one I think a little bit push outwards like that and this one like this so we got the effect here here some little bit of we have break the flow so we need to maintain the flow also and this way so the neck should be a little bit smaller here and peak should be a little bit smaller here like that so after we have completed the basic shape let's create the eye so to create the eye we'll use the star tool and left click I have put 5 and this 10 and click OK. So we got a nice rectangle here. Now with the delete anchor point to delete all the unnecessary points which is in between and just remove it. And with the convert anchor point to just click and drag this and just make it round. Now we did a direct selection tool just move this. On the top of that object like that and change its color to white. Now rotate this to an angle like that and place it there and if it's huge you can reduce the size and if it's normal you don't need that so we have made the eye here now once you have achieved that effect like this 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 now we are in the position to make the wing so let's make the wing here so to create the wing we'll first create a circle so to create the circle we will Select the ellipse tool and from the center just draw a circle like this and just copy it Control C and just delete it for a while. Now what we will do here is we'll select the line segment and from the center just draw the line segment a little bit longer here like that and give it some thickness. Uh, and get yeah, some stroke thickness so we need to keep some stroke color also and thickness around maybe four let's check it out if it's huge you can reduce it to three let's find out how it's look three is also cool so fine now with the rotate tool control D to duplicate multiple number of time like this and just and delete the extra we don't need that so we have done like this now after that we we'll select everything we select this object and just go to object and expand it we need to expand this because this is a stroke line segment so we need to convert this to an object form to delete the spaces from our main object. So just do that and this will convert this to an object form. Now control shift V to paste the copied circle which we have earlier and scale it down like this. Make sure how much length you want. We can even reduce a little bit more. Now select these. Before that, select everything, deselect this object, deselect the circle and just combine it in the pathfinder. So this is one object. Now select this and subtract it. So we are left with these pieces and this is already combined, this is one object. Negative space here, so you can see we have got the space here. Now the next thing is to add that curvy effect here, this inner piece, this different color tone. So we'll create that, so to create that control shift v pasting the same circle and just reducing its circle a little bit and just push it down and you can even increase the radius like that this one so select now everything and just go to shape builder and just click this and join these 
and everything else will be you can delete it select to delete it and we need to delete all these small pieces which is in between this so select and delete so after deleting this we got two pieces and we can differently shade give different colors to each of them so just select and delete it this one this one this one so you can see we've got the effect now select this with the eye picker just select the color we need here and rest select everything deselected you can see everything is individual so we have to combine this so select this deselect this so everything is selected now go to pathfinder and just combine it so this is one object with the eye picker now shift with the eye picker select the color so we have filled the color and we need to find where is our eye yeah there is our eye deselect this with the eye picker just fill it with color and arrange it to front because it's on the back side so we can we will see it now now once you have created the wings now created a peak now last thing we are left with is create the crystal effect to create that we'll do some stuff here we're using the line segment just draw out a lines box so we'll give it some stroke thickness which we can see increase the thickness around like that and with the line segment let's just draw out a box like this from here from here till here now join these pieces these pieces we'll give one more effect here like this this and this like that and fine now let's select with the selection tool select all the strokes and deselect these pieces we don't need that now go to object path and join it now you can see everything is joined now so it's act as in one object so select this go to object path and divide object below and this will do all the effect here you can see we select these pieces this is totally divide into different different small pieces like this now let's fill it with some different colors so that we can easily see that you can see that now let's fill it with some green color to, to fill the color so I'll bring this palette here for a while and just make sure let's fill up the color so let's select this with the eye picker fill it with the color select this eye picker fill it with the color select this fill Select this, fill, select this, the small piece, fill, the same way select this, fill, so fill it properly like that, like that, make sure you're filling all the different different colors, contrasting colors is important here otherwise you'll see similarities beside the colors with fit white like that so in this way we can fill up the colors you can later delete the green color so the green color should be filled uh, in this we have given some multiple effects if you want few more details here you can just put on the selection tool and just divide the object below you can add few more details so this is how we can create these crystals now you can see we are left with only the text so we'll create that text so let's type say a double z e r zazer that is our text and we are using coaching upc that's the font we are using here and it's regular and in the character we have used the capital because we need capital and here put the value 500 that's the spacing between two texts now scale this up for size and fill this with the color of the logo you can scale this down according to size of our logo and just place this properly 
so you can see we have created this design using the basic shape in which we have created the wing like effect wing like design and then we'll tweak some points to create the peak like effect of bird divide object below option and it has helped us a lot with the gradient option which we have already prepared and finally we added a text so this is how we can create these kinds of logo hope you enjoyed tutorial don't forget to check out the next tutorial coming up and if you want more updates on designing you can press the subscribe button thank you